And a great pleasure to uh, yeah, welcome with us today one of the uh, true legends in the world of music. Uh, Judy Collins joined us by telephone, and she has her uh, autobiography just out in paperback called Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, My Life in Music. And Judy joined us uh, by telephone, and it's great to talk to you. Judy, been a big fan. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here with you. First of all, uh, just doing a little uh, quick research uh, of, uh, of what you're doing currently, and I see you're going to get uh, the Eugene O'Neill Award, so congratulations on that. Uh, uh, it's over in Ireland. Oh, yes, I'm very, <laughs> very excited about that. I am indeed. And uh, I have a new uh, special, a PBS special on, on public television, Judy Collins Live at the Metropolitan Museum of New York, which is all very exciting. So I'm working. As usual, hard as I can. I was looking at your website and your story schedule. I mean, you're doing what they used to call one-nighters uh, all around, not only the country, That's but the world. <laughs> yeah, I've done that for 50 years now, one-nighters. So sometimes not. I was just at the Carlisle for a few weeks, which was very nice in New York. And that was a three-week uh, in the same place. It's always nice when it's a while to be able to do that. One great thing about uh, your type of music, uh, it's, I mean, you can do it with an orchestra, obviously, but, uh, you know, you and a guitar, and, and that's all you need, right? And a, and a microphone. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. I travel with a pianist, too. It's wonderful. But, you know, I can go out with just the guitar as well, which is nice as well. Well, it's good to know, and, and, and the, the type of music that you've done, obviously, uh, I, I guess it's, it's considered folk music, but it's really American popular music uh, of the purest I pitch, think so, it? too. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. That's a better title for us. <laughs> And, and, it, right. and, and it resounds uh, as it did when you started uh, today, throughout the 60s. Obviously, it kind of hit a heyday, I suppose, then, uh, uh, but it still resounds today, doesn't it? People want, want songs of uh, Well, it sure it does, and it's certainly out there all over the world, which is wonderful. Uh, lots of festivals, lots of replays of the old songs on the radio. You know, it's very nice to know that it's still cooking, it's still out there, people still love it, so... That makes me very happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to talk a little bit about the book. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I think it came out originally in hardcover six, eight months ago, maybe a year ago, and, and now it's in paper. It came out a year ago, just a year ago. In fact, almost a year ago to the day. Yeah. Yes, it did. And it's done very well. I also put out a, um, an audio of this book. I've never done that before. And that was really fun to read it. And also I did some singing in the audio. So you can also get that. But you can get Sweet Judy Blue Eyes at your bookstore, you can get it on Amazon, probably at my website, and uh, any place you go, they sell books and CDs. What's that like? Obviously, you know, you talk in the book uh, of things you went through, difficult times. Is it harder, obviously, to write it, it, it can be a little difficult, but to actually read it later on, is that tough, or is that not, or is it not tough, when you did the recording? I'm talking oh, no, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful experience. To be able to do this and to write about these things is a real privilege, because First of all, you've lived long enough, and it's an education when you go back and you look through the times and you think about the people and you research things that you've forgotten about. You look at your own journals and you look at, you know, Wikipedia and Google, and you find out you really educate yourself about things that have happened to you. It's wonderful. Mm. Hey, I guess in a sense it's it's uh, cathartic too to write it. I mean the things you've gone through and and and, and to be able to. Oh yes, yeah. very much. And I'm well. a, I hope so. You know, I think it does. I think it really does. Just kind of talk a couple of minutes. Uh, I remember watching you uh, on television, obviously, on the great variety shows, which sadly we don't have anymore, like uh, the Smothers Brothers show. You're on. Yeah, you do. It does. And yeah. Relevant too. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, all of the shows that we were able to do, the, the, um, the, um, the, the Smothers Brothers, they were so wonderful, and, uh, you know, there were so many of those, those shows. Now the only game in town, really, is public television, so I'm so happy to have a wonderful show on public television. That's great. Yeah, and Dick's mother's is a friend of ours down here. He lives in Sarasota, so we've had him on. Uh, oh, I'm so crazy about, about these guys, you know. Yeah, I've known them for, oh my God, 51, 50, 52, 52 years I've known the boys. Wow. I worked with them first in Aspen, Colorado, and, uh, you know, they were so funny. Dick used to say to me, you know, you, you used to sing every single verse of those songs about Silver Daggers. Every, you couldn't let one go by. <laughs> 
<laughs> we had a great time. I'm just crazy about them. And, and they really kind of brought uh, the folk music really to a younger audience, or maybe a different audience at that time on variety television. And they kind of kept it going. I mean, they had yourself on and... Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, they the certainly on, did. Dion and, and several artists, and, uh, and that was great. And, and talk about Ed Sullivan. My uncle was on that show a few times. He told some uh, great stories of working with Ed. Do uh, you have an Ed Sullivan story? <laughs> Oh, yes, I went to a wedding up in uh, Westport, and I was in a cast from my toe to my hip. It was 1960, and Ed Sullivan was one of the guests. He knew the family really well, and I got drunk and fell into the pool, and Ed Sullivan pulled me out. <laughs> That's my Ed Sullivan story, a little different than most people's. <laughs> I'd always heard that, uh, now, probably a little less so for singers, but if comedians uh, did the, during the dress rehearsal, he'd say, all right, got to cut two minutes out of your act or cut a minute out of your song before it went on the air and it would drive not people crazy. You know, the performance crazy. I wonder if you had anything. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sure we didn't like to cut our act. And that show was live. I mean, that wasn't, uh, it was primarily a live show. It was a live television show. Yeah. I remember uh, um, uh, uh, Steve Allen. I was on the Steve Allen show. I was on the Tonight Show with Carson. There were, of course, we still got, thank God, we still got Letterman and we still got Leno. And they have live music on them, so that's wonderful. Hey, yeah, that's another thing. Live music or any type of music uh, on radio or television, uh, sadly, like you said, with the exceptions of PBS and, and, and the occasional show, mm -hmm. it's getting harder to mm -hmm. find, uh, find places yeah, on television. Yeah, harder to find it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're, you're still doing it, and that, that's good news, and uh, you'll be touring around. Hopefully you'll get down to Florida sometime on your tour, Judy. Love to see you down here in our area. Oh, I will. I love Florida. I tour there sometimes. I love it down there. I'm coming in the spring a couple of times. I think I'm there in late January. Yeah, I love Florida. Great. Yeah, we'll look for you then. And again, the name of the book is called Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, My Life in Music, uh, just out in a paperback. Uh, your website is just judycollins.com. I can get a hold of you there if they like, right? Yes, the Amazon has it, of course, the Barnes & Noble site. Any place you see good books, and go order it from your local bookstore. That's always good. Great. Judy, uh, Tell again, me about a dozen copies. That's right. <laughs> good Christmas presents. <laughs> Judy, real pleasure That's to talk true. to you, and, and uh, as you head down to Florida, hopefully we'll get to uh, talk to you again. We'll contact you at that time, but thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You take care and have a great day.